We're just a few weeks away from the start of the spring calving season for those of us here in the southwest part of the United States. I think it's a good time to refresh our memories about what really happens in a normal parturition or a normal calving. We know that the uh, process of calving is basically divided up into three different parts or three different stages. Stage one is occurring before we see really anything going on with that cow or heifer because stage one, the biggest event that's happening is the dilation or the relaxation of the cervix. Now, scientists think that stage one may last as short a time as four hours, may last as long as about 24 hours. So there's tremendous variation in how long stage one actually occurs. What we will generally see during stage one is perhaps some behavioral changes in the cow or heifer that's uh, in stage one of calving, where she perhaps will begin to walk the fence, isolate herself, Perhaps a, a heifer will kick at her belly as the uterine contractions are beginning. But uh, again, we may not see much going on during stage one, but it's important that the cervix is dilating in that particular period of time. And I would suggest that you learn to uh, determine whether the cervix is completely dilated before you ever try to pull or extract a calf that needs some assistance. That's stage one. Stage two is where all the action seems to take place. Stage two of calving, we generally define as beginning when we first have the appearance of the water bag, those uh, uh, fluids that have been around that fetus during the uh, previous nine months, that water bag appears, and stage two ends when the calf is completely delivered on the ground. Now the length of stage two is important that we understand. Research done at Montana, at the USDA station up there, and here at Oklahoma State University several years ago has determined that, that stage two will last, if everything goes well, about one hour, in the case of first calf heifers, those that have never calved before, and about half that long, or about 30 minutes, in the case of an adult cow, a cow that has delivered calves successfully before. If that stage two goes longer than that particular period of time, then chances are there's something wrong and she needs our assistance. Let's move on to stage three then. Stage three is the cleaning or the release of the placenta, the afterbirth. That usually should take place within eight to 12 hours after the calf has been delivered. If those uh, placenta or those uh, membranes have not been released after 12 hours. That's what we call a retained placenta. And in that situation, you probably want to watch that cow very, very carefully for the next few days. If you see any signs of droopy ears being lethargic, chances are there's uh, some kind of infection setting up. You need to get veterinary help. Call your local veterinarian for the kinds of treatment that they will need for that situation. So those are the three stages of uh, calving that I think we need to understand. Stage one, stage two, stage three. If you'll understand the normals, then you'll be able to recognize when those cows or heifers need our assistance. I would also suggest that you take time to go to the SUNUP website. That's sunup.okstate.edu. We'll have a show link there where you can download the publication Calving Time Management for Beef Cows and Heifers. It's E-1006. Excellent publication that'll help you a lot through this calving season. Hey, we look forward to visiting with you again next week on SUNUP's Cow-Calf Corner.